Welcome to Malmesmead on North Exmoor. This area is known for R.D. Blackmore's book Lorna Doon, which was set in the valleys around here during the late 17th century, and it follows the life of John Ridd and his love for Lorna Doon. I've just left Malmesmead and I'm heading up this bridle path. While I was in the car park I heard a cuckoo up in the woods above me and there were heaps and heaps of martins flying around and drinking out of the, um, the puddles. So I'm going to do the Lorna Doon circuit today which will bring me up and over the moor to Badgerworthy Water and then back down to Malmesmead. This is Southern Wood, uh, it's just above Malmesmead. This is where I leave Southern Wood behind and head out onto the moor, first going over Southern Ball and then Malmesmead Hill and then up onto Brendan Common. As you can see it's a beautiful day and I've actually just seen swallows as well. It's wonderful to have them back. We're looking toward the north coast of Exmoor now and the Bristol Channel. Uh, the bump you can see is known as Desolation Point. And off to the left there is the high ground of Countisbury. Crossing the moor you often see these burnt patches. Uh, farmers burn the heather and the gorse, it's known as swaling. And it's to encourage fresh growth for grazing. The coombs up here on the moorland are the main places where you'll see a few trees. There might be a mix of beech and thorn, uh, some silver birch and mountain ash and a few other species. I'm now going to cross Lancome and Brendan Common uh, to reach the Valley of Badgeworthy Water. These hardy Exmoor ponies are native to Britain. And not so long ago, the Exmoor pony almost became extinct. Soldiers used them for target practice during the war and people killed them for meat. But since then, horse breeders have increased the population to about 500 here on Exmoor. There's about another 3,500 across the UK and uh, another few hundred abroad as well. Now we're finally dropping down into Badgerworthy Water. This is the medieval village of Badgeworthy. The remaining rocks are overgrown now with grass and bracken and the odd thorn tree. And that's Badgeworthy water going down the valley to Malmesmead. I'm heading down into Badgeworthy Wood now, where um, a couple of streams here join. We're at the end of April and um, down the lowlands all the trees are coming out in leaf, but up here on Exmoor they're a little way behind. It's very difficult to read this stone, um, but it says to the memory of Richard Doddridge Blackmore, whose novel Lorna Doon extols to all the world the joys of Exmoor. On the map it says Doon country, and this is where uh, the Doons made their abode in the Badgeworthy Valley. Down the valley, John Ridd is supposed to have lived in Plover's Barrows, and up here was where he met Lorna Doon. And here we are, back near the start. That's uh, Malmesmead just below. You can see uh, Lorna Doon Farm 
and the buttery off to the right of it and the old medieval bridge of Malmesmead and then going up the hillside behind the farm is the bridle path that we first started off on and southern wood just at the top there